Okay guys, so today I'm going to reconstitute my SS31 peptide. So I always start out putting a nice clean paper towel down, some alcohol wipes. These, this is the uh, SS31. And if you check the description, there will be a um, link so that you, if you're interested in researching your own peptides, you can do that. This is the bacterial static water. This is what you use to reconstitute your peptides. And I just used this yesterday to reconstitute my MOTC. And this one's a little bit more difficult to open because I put the I put a 3D cap, 3D printed cap on it. And then also this is a 100 unit or one milliliter uh, insulin syringe. And the SS31 is uh, 10 milligrams. And I'm just going to put one full milliliter of uh, bacterial static water in this. So I always start off by sanitizing. It's very important. So... I typically use one per vial. It does get, a, you know, I end up using a lot more than I probably need to. But when I am doing a reconstitution, I feel like it's better to err on the side of safety, you know. So I just have one for each one. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean this one off. The SS31 peptide. And I always take off the back and then I pull it all the way back out, get some air in it, take off the top. And I always hold the bacterial static water straight up. I tilt the, the actual pin or the syringe itself um, this way. And I go down and I flip it over. I put the air in it. And then I draw the fluid back out. Sometimes it'll do it on its own. If you've seen um, any of my other videos, sometimes the pressure will automatically do it. But this time is not one of those times. <laughs> but anyway, it's filling up. And I always do a little bit more than, than one milliliter because your syringe will do that. It will go a little bit beyond that, but not that much more. Alrighty, as you can see, there we go. You see that just a little bit under the 100 unit mark. All right, pop that out, set that to the side, the bacterial static water. So then you take your, your uh, vial of your powder and you're always gonna put it in a little bit at an angle because you don't want it to go directly onto the peptides because they are fragile. And sometimes it will automatically start pulling it, as you can see. And you want to slow it down just a little bit. I'm trying to slow it down just a little bit, going in there. And it's really trying to pull it, but I'm trying to slow it down just a little bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. A little bit more. All right, it's looking good. We're almost there. I'm just holding it between my fingers to kind of slow it down just a little bit. All right. Perfect. All right. And it's all in there. And I'm going to set this aside for a sec. I'm going to go ahead and put the cap back over the needle and then over the back of it. Set it to the side. Take a look at it. See if it's all, it's not all mixed in there probably can't see it but there's a little bit of white flakes in there just a little bit so in that case you just kind of slowly roll it until it all kind of comes together and it shouldn't take that long and also after you roll it and you don't show that it's actually mixed all the way you can set it to the side for a few minutes but in this case that actually did help it so it's all mixed in there so once it looks clear you know you're good to go
And then, so what I'll do, I'm going to go ahead and do a shot of this, not on camera, but I will be doing um, 2.5 milligrams. So I'll get two, four uses out of this. Um, so I'll, I do MOTC um, five days on, two days off. So I do that um, Saturday through Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday, that's when I'll do the SS31. And, and then also my regular shot day for my GLP-1, uh, which is the Retta, I do that on Saturday. And sometimes if I feel like I need it, I will do a micro dose of that on typically Thursday. So that's typically how my my schedule goes. I also do take uh, Cagrolentide. I take that on Saturday as well, just to kind of help with any sort of food noise because it's been shown that for some people, you may not get all the food noise. Uh, you may not um, have all of that uh, food noise suppressed um, when you're on Redditrutide. And so I'm going to take my bacterial static water, put my cap back on it, put it back in this box. I don't put this in the fridge. I stick it in a um, in the cabinet in the kitchen, uh, just away from light. That's always helpful. And uh, everything else I just throw away in the trash. That's not going to go back on there. But anyway, everything else uh, this will go into my sharps box, and then everything else will go into the trash. And that's it, guys. That's how you reconstitute your SS thirty one. And I know I did a video about the V two um, reusable pen. I have to do that video. I've been really busy with work, but since I needed to go ahead and reconstitute this SS31, I figured I would just go ahead and do a video really quickly for you guys, um, just so you can kind of see how that works. In the description of this video, I will put a link if you're interested in researching uh, peptides, and also I will give you more information on the history of SS31, its benefits, and if it seems like it might be a good fit for you, that's something you can look into. So I don't advocate this for people, but if you find that any of this information is helpful, I'm always happy to give it out. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.